Hello everybody, it's me, Auntie Allison, and my handy dandy assistant, Sarah, Sarah Beth. Beth. Today, we're gonna bring you some activities that go with the book, 10 Little Fish. Now, if you did not hear the read aloud, I read aloud the 10 Little Fish, and you can go back and show that to your child. It, what they're doing in there, the 10 Little Fish, they're counting backwards. So you might want to start by talking to your child about counting one through 10 and then 10 through one. All right, you want to practice? Yes. Okay, so let's count up, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good, now keep your fingers up. Go backwards, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, depending on your child's age is gonna depend on how you do these activities. These activities are fairly simple and you tweak them as you need to. So toddlers could do them yeah. up to kindergartners could yeah. do them and even older than that if you need it. So what I've done is I have taken some fish and I have numbered each one of them one through 10. So what you can do is you get the child to put them in order from one to 10 or 10 to one. Now, they may or may not be um, perfect with this or proficient, but that's okay. The younger they are, what you're doing is just simply getting them adjusted to and introducing them to these numbers. Now, what I had Sarah Beth do is I had her color the fish first. So if you want to, you get your child to color the fish. Now, sometimes they can color really good Sometimes they might not color so good. And let me see a crayon real quick. Okay. When mine were real little, they would do this. That was about the extent of their coloring. You know what, that's okay. They're getting used to it, they're at least doing it, yeah. okay? And that's the whole point of these activities. Now, once they have colored, you are going to have them cut these out. Yeah. No, you do not have to cut the outline of each fish unless they're old enough to do it and you want them to, okay? What my suggestion is, and don't forget, always use Little safety scissors. scissors. What you're gonna do is just cut them in squares yes. or have your child cut them into squares. All right, let's show them, Sarah Beth. Okay. Now, you don't have to just use this activity with the 10 little fish. You can use this activity with anything. You might be talking about fish. You might not even be talking about fish. You can still use this activity no matter what because teaching and learning the numbers is good anytime. All right, so she's already been cutting them out into squares. Now, for those of you that get, ooh, you know, real like, oh no, they're not doing it exact. I used to get like that. It's okay. They're doing it and that's the most important part because they're getting used to using scissors and this is a lot of OT work, in it? Yes. Okay, so Sarah Beth, yeah. Can you put these in order one to 10 for me? Yes, I can. Where do I put them? Just put them across here. Okay. What's one. the number? One. Okay. Two. Uh-huh. Three. Good. Four. Mm -hmm. Five. Six, 
seven. You can put eight right here. Eight. Mm -hmm. Nine. Ten. Very good. So now she has put those in order. If she was a lot younger, do you think you could do that as well? No. When you're younger? No. Okay, you could also extend this activity, have them then, of course, put it 10 to 1, depending on their age. Yeah. And you might even do something like this. Hey, Sarah Beth, yeah. can you find the number four for me? Yes. Four. <gasps> Yay, very good. That's right. Now get this one wrong, okay? Okay. Can you find the number seven for me? Okay, let me see. Okay. Is this the right number? <gasps> no. Oh, almost. That's a six. Let's count it and see, okay? One, One two, three, four, five, six. six seven. Ah, seven. seven. Now you see your seven. Good girl. All right, so there are lots of things that you can do with these cards. When you're finished using them each time, put them where, Sarah Beth? And a Ziploc bag, just in case you don't remember. Okay, very so good. And, and that way they can keep up with them, right? Yes. And they then, can. if your child is old enough, they can go and get the Ziploc bag whenever they want, and they can practice all by themselves. Yes, like, okay. mm -hmm. and like, I'm old enough to do it by myself, so I can like put them in a little. That's right, exactly. All right. The next thing that you can do is work on colors. Because I don't know if you remember, but in the 10 Little Fish, the fish had lots of different colors. colors. You could even go through here and talk about the colors that they see. And you could count each page where you hit see the um, fish and see how many there are. There's so many things that you could do with this. It just depends on you and your child. So, I had Sarah Beth yes. um, color all of these colors, and now we're going to cut those out also. And again, we're going to cut them out in squares, okay? So, I'm going to help. Okay. So, we don't take so long. And I have the template and all of these will be in the in the description yes. down below. So you can just click on it and go and print these out. Yes. Or you can make your own, whichever one you want. Whichever. Okay, so Sarah Beth, can we lay these out? Yes. It doesn't have to be in any order. Okay. We're just gonna lay them out so I we can will see do them. them. I'm pretty sure I'll do them in my favorite colors. Okay. So my first favorite color is purple, so I put that in the and right here. Okay. And my second favorite color is yellow, so I put it right next to the purple. My second, my third favorite color is red because of Alabama and Jesus. And my third, and my fourth favorite color is red, and I mean blue. And my fifth favorite color is green. And my least favorite color <laughs> is orange. <laughs> I do not like that color. <laughs> I hope you guys like that. That's so, okay. I think I failed to mention, obviously these have color words on these fish. So you're going to want your child to color them the color of the word on that particular fish. This is also a good way where you could have the colors of the crayons sitting out and you could say, hey, all right. So this one says red. Can we find the red crayon? Yes. And then your child can find the red crayon, and you can help them depending on their age, and then they can color it. So now you have your fish colored, and anytime you wanna practice the colors, you get your fish out, okay? And then you can ask your child, can you find the orange fish? The orange fish? There one. you go, that's the orange fish, good. And even an extension activity would be practicing the spelling words. So they could practice spelling, they could sometimes practice even the letters like er, eh, d, because that's a right. consonant, vowel, consonant word. 
So like I said, many, many, many ways that you can use both of these activities and they can go with any fish book or they can go by themselves. Now, one other thing we did just for fun is we included the aquarium. Get yours. All right, so Sarah Beth colored one and I colored one. So you could even do this with your child just for fun. And again, these are all good for OT, for fine motor skills and all of that, which every child needs. So then I also printed out some fish. Some of these may be a little big, but that's okay. So you and your child can color a few of the fish, cut them out and make your own aquarium. Mm -hmm. As you can see, these are walks and I did salmon materi walks and I, these are seaweed. So I put green because I knew seaweed is green. Very good. And I happen to do it different colors. So yeah. any way you want to color it is fine. I hope that you enjoyed this activity and that you got a lot out of it. We enjoy We enjoy bringing these activities to you and we will have more to come. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.